Welcome to the Cryptonomatron guys, thanks for joining me again today. In this video we're going to be looking at setting up an aced master node and I'm going to take you through it because I've just bought one at pre-sale. So I'm going to set it up, I'm going to record it all and we're going to see how easy it is and it's basically going to be a bit of a tutorial which is the first one I've done so bear with me. But if this is your first time watching my channel and you want to know more about ICOs, cryptocurrency, masternodes for example, <laughs> that's another subject we can talk about, then you need to click on that subscribe button and click on that bell notification icon and you'll get notified as soon as I upload new content and whenever I go live. So let's get on with this tutorial and see how I get on trying to install an aced masternode. So let's look at the project itself just very briefly. Now they do have a Discord that's the best place to go for any of the information. The devs are on there and you can ask them questions about how to set up. And uh, you know if you've got any concerns or uh, any um, issues with the technical side of things, which often happens when you're trying to set up a master node for the first time. So uh, what is Aced? Well, it's a privacy cryptocurrency. It uses the peer-to-peer -peer technology, obviously, with nodes and master nodes as well. Now, it's a staking coin, so you can stake. You don't have to have a master node, but having a master node gets you a, a bigger share, if you like, of the rewards. Now, the coin spec, it is an X11 uh, algo, uh, similar to Dash and some of the other uh, uh, privacy coins as well. The coin name is Aced. A ticker is ACED. It's a proof of work, obviously, as I mentioned. Pre mine was at 6%. Now, if you want to hold a master node, you want to run one, you need collateral coins. If you want to know more about master nodes and how they operate, then watch my previous video from last week's um, Master Node Tuesday <laughs> um, uh, uh, by clicking on the link above. And that gives you a basic outline of what master nodes are and why you want to uh, get involved with them or not, as the case may be. So, uh, the master node collateral in this case, and it varies from each master Master node is a thousand coins or a thousand aced. The block time is 120 seconds, and you will get a block reward every so often when you actually mine, if you like, uh, the coins. And the block reward in uh, this case is 20, and it's split in favor of master nodes 16 and 4 for miners. So uh, uh, this is heavily slanted towards the master node side of things, which is good if you can afford to get the thousand coins. So the pre-sale was two weeks, it ended or it's ending today, I'm not sure uh, when I upload this video whether it will still be active, I'm sure if you uh, PM the, the devs on uh, the, the Discord channel they might help you out. Uh, basically the coin was sold 75 cents at pre-sale, uh, again a thousand for a master node but you, didn't have to, you don't have to buy a whole master node, you can uh, uh, buy a minimum of 200 coins with $200. So you can stake those coins as I've mentioned as well, but having a master node is going to be a little bit more lucrative. Now initially there was 250,000 aced coins for sale, that means an initial 250 master nodes on the network, which is a fair number, and anything that come after that will obviously probably be paying a little bit more. So again, it's in your interest to find out about these master nodes early on, earlier on in their development, in their um, evolution if you like. So you will need a VPS, that is the best way to run a master node because it means the IP is completely static and it's online all the time as well. So you don't have to worry about power outages, your computer being turned off um, and other such uh, distractions. Once you get your VPS up and running, you can choose a package, choose the smallest one, the cheapest one is usually the best one. As you can see here, I'm running an Aegis master node on this one and it's only used 8.59 gigabyte out of a thousand gigabyte, plenty of storage space too, 25 gigabyte of uh, SSD drive space. So uh, absolutely uh, spot on for what I need it for. You'll need the operating system to be Ubuntu 16.04 x64. So once you've got that all set up, you've got your IP address, which you'll need. So copy that into notepad or clipboard. And also uh, you will require the password a bit later on as well. Okay, so to install your master node on your VPS server, you will need to download PuTTY or you'll be able to go through the uh, control on Vulter itself, which uh, you can bring up by clicking on that icon there. Now I don't like to use that, I like to use PuTTY, so um, I downloaded PuTTY, a link to download PuTTY is provided in the description. Um, so I like to use PuTTY, it's a bit easier. So what you need to do here is where it says host name or IP address, you need to copy and paste uh, your IP address and stick it in PuTTY here. 
So paste it in and then open and it should open a command prompt here. Now to log in, you log in as root and your password can be found here. You can copy it. And again, to um, use the password, it's a little bit different in Ubuntu rather than Windows command prompt. You uh, right click and uh, it should actually log us in. Maybe not, hang on, we'll try there. Try clicking there. There we go. So we're logged in now, as you can see. Um, so it's uh, a little bit fiddly to get logged in, but once you're there, uh, then you need to paste some code in to install the wallet. So in order to install the um, masternode on your VPS, you need to cut and paste some code. I've provided it in the description below. So it's the wget code. Um, and you just right click, paste that into the command prompt window, and it'll start to install the masternode on your VPS. It will take about 15 and 20 minutes. Um, and then when it's done, it will come up with some red text. Now that's particularly important because you need to find your masternode private key there in red copy and paste that into your notepad, keep that because we'll need it later, and then you have also the instruction there to start the service, which is also provided in my uh, description below. So the ACED hyphen CLI instructions are to get info, masternode status, and masternode sync status. You can use those to check the status of your masternode, whether it's syncing with the blocks, whether it's actually able to connect with the network and see if there are any problems. Now, the other uh, system CTL status commands are to check the service, whether the service is running or not. Now, you can use all of those to make sure that your masternode is up and running properly. If you do encounter any problems and you don't know what's going on, then um, I would go onto the Discord channel and speak with some of the devs or uh, some of the helpers on there because they're particularly good at sorting out problems. So first thing you're going to have to do is download the wallet. Now, uh, let's have a look. I think only the Windows wallet is available for this project because it's in very early development, as I mentioned before, but they will be having a Linux wallet and also a, a Mac o a iOS wallet. And let's have a look here. Um, right, let's download the uh, .exe file. And I'll be back in a second once this is downloaded. So I downloaded the wallet and I've extracted it into a drive. You need some drive space, guys, because it does download the whole blockchain as a core wallet. So you want to take that into consideration. If you've got limited hard drive space, then um, that may be a problem for you in the future because obviously the blockchain will grow in size and you need to keep that um, somewhere in your, uh, in your hard drive. So as you can see, it's syncing with the network and it has to download the blockchain. So that's going to take a little bit of time. So I will return once that's done and we will move on to the next step. So once the wallet is synced with the chain, you need to encrypt it. And that's very important. So don't forget to do that, guys. Choose a password. There we go. Yes. Okay, there we are. Takes a couple of seconds to register, and then your wallet should be encrypted. So the next thing you need to do after you've synced your wallet and uh, encrypted it is unlock it and back it up so that you've got a backup all the time. Keep it somewhere uh, safe, preferably not on the same hard drive that you're uh, running the wallet on, especially not on a computer that's connected to the internet. So um, the best place to put it would be a memory stick, somewhere like that that's offline all the time and not accessible and bear in mind if you do lose the backup and uh, your wallet is corrupted or something happens you will lose access to your funds so the first thing you need to do for a masternode is make sure you've got a thousand um, a little bit over a thousand coins in your wallet actually because it normally takes some transaction fees to send yourself the thousand coins you need for the masternode so once you've got your 1,000 ACE coins and a little bit more for the transaction fee, you need to set up an address. So you want to label an address masternode1, or in this case, MN1 is good enough for me. Um, uh, you basically set the address, request the payment, And copy the address, close it. You can see it's here now in the uh, labels. So go to send, paste in the address, it comes up with the label, that makes sure that you know 
exactly where you're sending. And just leave the subtract fee from amount unchecked and it will take it out that little bit extra that you've got in your wallet as well. So you get, because you need 1,000 aced coins for the master node, so it can't come out of that amount. All right, guys. And then we just send. Typing in your passphrase. And it asks for confirmation. Yes, we want to send it. And as you can see, it has been sent to myself down here. So we wait for 15 transactions, then move on to the next step. So we need another piece of information to complete our masternode configuration. We have the alias. That is our name of our masternode. In my case, it was MN1, where we sent our coins to. We have our VPS IP address as well. We will need the port number. In this case, it's um, 24126, I believe. We have our private key already uh, that was given to us when we installed the masternode with putty onto the VPS. And we need now the TX hash and also the output index. So to get those, we go into tool, we go into debug console and we put, we type in masternode output and press enter. And that will give us the information we need. Copy and paste that into your notepad file. And now you can come out of the uh, debug console and now we need to configure the master node itself. So to do so, we go into the wallet again, we go to tools, open master node configuration file. And we'll, what we want to do is add a line of code in there that consists of the alias, which is in my case, MN1, the address, which is uh, the VPS IP address, the colon and the port number, which again, I said was uh, 24126, the private key, the TX hash that you've just copied and the output index you've just copied as well, which should be either zero or a one. Now these should all be in a single line separated by one space. Now that's very important that it's in a single line because otherwise the um, a wallet when it boots up won't be able to read it and it'll give you an error. So it's one single line with every piece of information separated by one single space. So there you go. Now you can save the uh, master node configuration file and exit and also exit the wallet. So while you are in the um, putty command prompt and it's installed successfully, you've copied your private key, you then need to start the system. So basically it will give you a command, copy that command by uh, highlighting it and right click, then right click into the um, open command prompt press enter and it should start your master node now to uh, get the info of your master node to see the status and see the syncing status of it you can use these commands here and uh, if you put them in one by one you should see it syncing perfectly with the blockchain if not there's a problem um, if the master node status it fails to start then there's a problem and if it doesn't sync properly or it's uh, failed to sync then go onto the discord and uh, go onto the masternodes channel and ask for some assistance as well. It's probably the best thing to do. So if you want to start, stop it at any given time through the command prompt on Putty, these are the commands that you're going to want to use. And um, it should be running by now and you can go back into your wallet and it should have enabled in your wallet. So you don't have to start it using putty. You can come out of putty now, as long as the status is okay um, and everything's good and it's syncing with the blockchain, you can actually start it from inside the wallet at the masternodes tab. You've got start alias, start all if you've got more than one masternode and start any that have gone missing. So it should be okay. Your status will update every so often. As you can see here, I've been active for about 16 minutes and uh, it will probably take a couple of days for you to get your rewards. And that's it, guys. That's it. All done and dusted. Dead simple. Dead simple. Mm. <laughs> So they are on Masternodes Pro. There are 366 enabled Masternodes, but they've just gone through an update of the Masternode and the wallet as one of the devs actually split from the project and they burned all his tokens and his Masternodes as well. So the annual ROI is down at um, just under 1,000% now. And that's pretty good. Um, so you'll probably make your uh, stake back within a month as things stand. But obviously, as time goes on, the uh, stakes usually get less and less as the uh, network gets busier and the more master nodes come online. So um, daily, you can expect to get 26.3 ACEDs. 
which equates to about $20 worth if we use the pre-sale price of 75 cents. And in a week, you can get about 184 ACED, which equates to about $140. And um, in a month, you'll get almost your entire stake back, 736.8 ACEDs. And that um, equates to about $560 at current exchange rates. Now, over a year, you can expect to get about 9,605 coins back. So it's quite lucrative at the moment. Um, as I say, we'll need to see going forward whether that can be maintained or if it drops significantly as more master nodes come online so that's it done guys i hope you found it fairly easy to follow big shout out to crypto sharks it was his text on github that i followed to set up my uh, master node initially and using vps is a far superior method guys than using um, just your desktop which you can do and i'll leave a guide i'll leave crypto sharks guide i'll leave a guide to setting up on desktop below plus a link to putty plus a link to uh, volter as well so you can um, easily find everything you need that's how easy it is guys you should be done in under an hour this is your first master node and a lot quicker if you've been setting them up for a while so thanks for joining me today guys i appreciate it if you like the video give us a like give us a subscribe if you've not already and click that bell notification icon and you'll get notified as soon as i upload new content